Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. There was a time when my partner had to adjust between that which was him and then what happened when he sat in the chair. Any healer, any reader knows this. A time where you take a number of breaths and you center and you have a coherence and you drop into the core and start your work. You might have noticed, especially those who attend the meetings, that it's instant. In this condition, situation, attitude, my partner sits when it's time to channel and he channels. And this is because years ago I asked him if he wanted to do the meld. And he asked what that was. And I said, it's a time when you have a realization and an acceptance, true acceptance, that the creative energy that is of the universe that made everything also made you. And therefore, it's always with you. That it's a human bias to decide to separate that which is the divine from that which is human. And separate it you have. You prepare to meditate. You prepare, go to a building, wear things, sing songs, and then you come to a place where you kneel or not, or pray or not, but it's all in a box. And the box is human or divine. And every once in a while you put the boxes together and then you leave. That's no meld, dear ones, that's separation. Oneness with all things is the theme of this channel. And it's a little different, perhaps, than you think. The invitation to meld has been there for years, for every single human to understand that you really don't have to prepare when it's already there. It's already there. I want to take you back for a moment to a, a condition that is something that you watched happen. Dear one, a soul is forever. Do you think billions of years ago that you existed? And the answer is yes. Not as a as a human, not as cellular structure. But you existed. Because a soul is a part of the family of the creative source, which is God. God is not singular. God is not a singularity. That's for the physicists in the room. God is all things all the time. God is an entangled spirit with everything that exists because God created it. That creative source is beyond your reasoning, your linearity, your understanding. But it always has been. And humans realize that. And that is why they separate it. And they say, that's God and this is not. Therefore, we are in a different box. Not understanding. You are one with the Creator. You always have been. Therefore, let me take you to something that you watched happen. Scripture tells you there was a time in the creation story of Earth, before light, before anything, it's a metaphor for a beginning planet. A planet that would then support that which is human nature. <laughs> and that human nature would be in duality. And it would have a test of dark and light. You watch the planet be prepared for you. And I want to remind you what that looked like. And I want you to use your logic for a moment. The 
planet is there in all its majesty and its turmoil without life shaping itself through the mud and the dirt and the heat and the weather and there is water all of the elements you have today were there all of them there are no added elements today that were not there then regardless of the principles of asteroids bringing in things they had the same elements you have <laughs> so everything was here the ingredients for the meal of life was here and you watched it develop the spark of life is always that which is a combination of certain acids amino acids and electricity all of it's already here the development of all of those things slowly happened from the dirt of the earth and the elements already here life began and finally sustained itself on this planet with all of the things that were already here added to this soup very recently was something that was not here and that is your human soul which was placed in you at an appropriate time approximately 200,000 years ago which began the test of light and dark with duality and the freedom to make the choices that you have today but let this not be lost on you even though the soul was placed here last it's still from the Creator it's from the same place that dirt came from it's the same place that the Sun came from and the oceans came from the master cook of the meal simply put the best ingredient in their last what am I telling you why do you separate everything when it's so obvious it's come from the same cook <laughs> why do you pretend it hasn't the first sustainable organized spiritual system on this planet had the master intuition that they were one with everything it wasn't an accident how evolved is that and what happened past that dear one is a de-evolution of your idea of God you are one with everything absolutely one with everything everything is your family and your cousin every piece of life came from the same place you did you walk into the wilderness to a place that's never had humanity and you gaze upon a tree or a rock and at some level they greet you and they say it's about time you showed up because they know you you see you're made from the same stuff that they are I told you years ago that the definition of consciousness would eventually have to change you look at it almost entirely as coming from advanced life forms what if I told you that a tree had consciousness now there is evidence dear ones but it's a living thing what if I told you that a rock had consciousness and you would say that's going too far cryon well that's going to have to be redefined someday when you realize that the elements themselves vibrate differently at metaphysical and meta multi-dimensional levels 
that you have never measured. You've never ever seen a magnetic field. Oh, you can put things into a magnetic field and they'll respond. And you will see those things responding and say, aha, that's the magnetic field. It isn't. They're simply responding to something invisible. You've never seen gravity. How evolved is your science? Not to have understood how to see these invisible things. And they're enormous. And you've never seen any of them. Well, you will. And someday, when you have an instrument that will finally show you multidimensionality, you'll see the patterns of gravity, the patterns of magnetics, and that will tell you what to do with them. <laughs> but as an ancillary product of the invention of seeing multidimensional things, is you will see life and you will see quantum energy around all things, even a rock. You're going to have to ask the questions that have not been asked yet. What is alive? What is not? And how do you define alive? And that's when you have to know that the very idea of Gaia, of Earth itself, is a living proposition. One that has a consciousness. And I'll tell you what that consciousness is. Gaia and you are one. You support each other. You breathe the result of the tree's output, dear ones. They breathe the result of your output dear ones it's a cycle of life because you're one with them let me bring you to the current day and all of your fine learning and education and technology you have chosen to put everything in an isolated box because of its similarity a building for chemistry a building for physics a building for healing and the study of the human body you can go further every single discipline has its own specialty specialists even linguistics and logic and computers they're all isolated in their own boxes and dear ones, if you haven't noticed, that's dysfunctional. If you're one with everything, you're missing something. Let me give you another system. And it may not violate the boxes too much. I'm not telling you that suddenly you have to drop the walls and everything has to be studied together. No. Let's look at another system. Imagine all of the boxes of learning are in a circle. Don't count the boxes, for they change. New science will create another box for you. Let's put them in a circle. But let's, let's let them overlap a little. In your schools, let's let them overlap a little. When you're going to study a specialty, the specialty will, con will contain an overlap, and that will be a course. And the course will be called overlapping. <laughs> <laughs> and what this means is there would be an appreciation and an understanding that there's one creator. That all the elements go together. Therefore, there has to be a relationship between the boxes. There has to be. Does physics have a relationship 
to linguistics. How about chemistry? Why don't you ask the ones that discovered patterns of language in the human genome? Can one of the boxes, perhaps, in the future, it's a stretch, be one of numerology, astrology? Could metaphysical things be part of the disciplines of learning on the planet? And if you want to look at the logic it has to say yes. You cannot restrict things that exist because you don't believe in them. You cannot restrict the things that exist as being part of the scenario just because you don't like them. They're there. And so suddenly with overlapping boxes, this is when the discoveries begin. Dear ones, the most profound ones at first won't be chemistry. And not even going to be physics, however you define it. It's going to be about Gaia. It's going to be the understanding of the relationship to the elements of Earth already starting to be studied is the relationship between the magnetic grid of this planet and human consciousness. It's only begun. The results of the experiments are startling and they show there is a correlation of how humans think and the strength of the grid. What does that tell you? You're all one with everything, dear ones, even the magnetics of this planet, part of the same creative source. Did you know there's, there is magnetics in your cellular structure? There is a polarity that belongs in basic physics in the human genome of the body. There's numerology in the molecules everything is tied to everything and if just if the boxes overlapped enough you'd start to see the correlation of one discipline to another to another to another and there has to be another box added and that will be the box of correlation the study of the overlap and that's the big one I just gave you the future and the reason I was able to give you the future is because it's on its way there are thinkers today that are not in the boxes and their specialty is thinkers there are specialists that are called futurists and their whole purpose is to see what's next based upon what is not happening today. Did you get that? There are specialists and futurists in repairing government, repairing corporate structure, recalibrating what hasn't been thought of yet. How about that? Because it's in the field, ready to be discovered ready to be thought about Canadian you sit in the most majestic place on earth just go north just go north and take a look there are places that no human has ever cast their eyes on in this country there is some of the most majestic wilderness on earth Canadian, you live in a tiny piece of this Gaia that you own. There are discoveries in the north yet to be made. Underneath the ice and in the forests when they thaw is herbology. It'll change the world. 
It's the same in the tropics. They just haven't seen it yet. There are things that Gaia will give you that you can't believe that will replace the best chemistry on earth. It's always been there because it's alive, because it knows you, because it's one with your chemistry. Not manufactured, not synthesized, but part of you. I hope this gives you a better idea. When you look at the wood paneling or the carpet <laughs> that's real and part of Gaia, it's all there. Everything you build, even the synthesized things are from chemistry that was original. One with everything means even more than you think. But the biggest one of all is one with the love of God. That's the soul. That's the last element the cook put in the meal because that's the one that sings the song of love, compassion, forgiveness, kindness. The one that's going to start raising up in your involvement and create the new human on earth. And in the process, an alliance with all that is. Oneness with everything. New concepts are coming that are beautiful that will be a return to the original concepts that you've lost. Prepare for it. Watch for it. That's good news. Leave this place differently than you came because of what you now might realize that's bigger than you ever thought. You might even breathe deeply for a moment. Thank you, Spirit, for letting me see that light. I'll never be the same. And so it is. <laughs>